morning! Right, um, excuse the excitement, but I'm feeling fresh. I've just had a shower. I'm on my way to work, but before I go to work, I'm taking my car in for a service. So let's see what Mercedes give me. And if it's something different than last time, I'll do a review on it. But other than that, car's running well. Um, a lot better than the Mini, for instance, because that's got no fucking engine in it at the moment. So other than that, I'm going to head down to Whitefield now, get my car dropped off. Hopefully, hopefully, they'll give me a Mercedes to GT. I'm lying. Oh, that would be a dream. But no, I'm not going to get that. I'll probably get a smart car now in my lot. Maybe I'll get another A-Class. Hopefully an A45. That will never happen. I did ask the question and they said, we'll see what we can do for you, Mr. Shorrock. Well, I don't think they will do that. It's absolutely gashing down in Manchester, as you can probably see from this car's wipers going like that. Like that. So let's hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more. <laughs> That's a typical contrast of colours of my old Mini, orange and black, but that is a new Mini, it's a new Clubman, and to say it's a Clubman Cooper SD, even, diesel Mini, I quite like that. For all my American viewers, what English people like to do in the morning is make a cup of tea, drink it in the car. Lovely. <laughs> Now we've just come off at the Pillsworth exit on the motorway near Bury. Five minutes later. And here we are slowly pulling into Mercedes Manchester. There's hardly any cars here. First person here I think. Gonna get my shiz out the car, go inside, drop it off and then let's see what POS they give me today. I think my prediction just before we walk in, it's going to be an A-class. I hope it's not. <laughs> Guys, they have given me a petrol hybrid C-class. It's weird, it's automatic, it's silent when you turn it on, glass roof, it's not an AMG trim one though. So I'm just about to quickly go to a car park now so we can do a quick review of it. Judging by this you can tell it's similar to last time. The screen's not as big, but we've got this big massive pocket, this central mouse thing. Oh, someone's left some sweets. This, we've got flappy paddles, which is good. Uh, heated seats, motorised seats, and we're currently on battery at the moment. There we go, the engine's just kicked in. Very, very strange. What I have just noticed is this car, obviously when you press it, it goes onto E-Drive, but when you're rolling down a hill, for instance, it starts charging the battery. That is wow. It's got a full panoramic roof, leather heated seats. There is no Sport Plus button, but my God, the push this has got is ridiculous. Like I can't, I can't tell you how quick it is. It's just for a hybrid. It's like it combines the power, it's five door. Um, the system shows. Obviously you're greeted by the screen, you can use your finger on that as well. It's like a touch, so it's moving around. Sat nav display does look very nice. Let's zoom right out. They've definitely upgraded that since mine. This is what Mercedes do, it's like a marketing point. They'll always give you a better car than what you've got, so when you come back in, you ask the question of how much it is, or they'll go, well, did you like that car, sir? Are you interested in getting something like that? Blah, 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 blah. So, that is what they do. It starts a hybrid by that, and the blue calipers, and the blue insets and the lights. <laughs> There we go, another feature discovered, reversing cameras. Auto dim mirror, um, buttons up there, SOS. Those mirrors dip down when you bang it into reverse. Leather seats all round. And then if you look in the rear view mirror, we have this here. That gets worse and worse when you're back in near something. So it's quite kitted out for a hybrid. It's just a shame it's not the AMG trim because you don't get metal, metal pedals. Uh, the steering wheel's not flat bottom. Uh, it doesn't, and uh, just the trim's not as good. Let's do the sound test. Obviously that is on radio, so the frequency is not as good, so you do get a bit of fuzz, but it's got a quite quite a good punch to it, to be fair. It's not Harman Kardon like the last one, or Bang & Olufsen, I can't remember which one it was, but it does sound quite good. Just pulled up to work, so I will catch you in a bit to continue this room. <laughs> I 
I've actually realized why this car is so fast. It's a hybrid for one, excuse the hair, it's just got wet with the rain, but it's 293 brake horsepower combined with the batteries. It's an E350E hybrid. Basically, it's absolutely rapid, so I'm just gonna boot it right now and you can, that was not to 60 instantly. I've always been someone that's never understood hybrids, but after driving this for a day, I would honestly buy one. It's 40,000 pound or 39,800. This isn't the AMG trim line. This is just a normal, well, it's the one up from the bottom one. It's got the nicer wheels on it, but not the AMG wheels. But it's rapid and I can't believe how economical it is. I've been to Wakefield and back today, which is probably around a hundred mile round trip and the petrol tank's not even moved and it's a two litre petrol. Amazing, really am impressed with this car. So if you're thinking of buying a C-Class 350E, then I highly recommend it because the specifications are amazing. Where's the red beast? Look at all these cars. I think I'm gonna dump mine here, this here, not mine. But it's got as well the LED headlights as you can probably see reflecting in that car. Very smart, big pockets. Amazing for a hybrid. So very pleased. Sorry it was a C-Class again, but you never know. Ventures, and we'll see what they give me next time. Bye.